Hi, in this particular video, we look at how to do sensitivity analysis. Let's take a very simple example. You are depositing $100,000 in your bank account. Let's call it a CD, a fixed deposit, which gives you 10% per year. Well, in reality, now we get less than 0.15%, but let's assume 10%. And you want to keep it for five years. Now I want to know what is my value after five years getting an interest of 10% per year with a principal that you put in the beginning $100,000. So in order to calculate the future value, the good thing is that it has built-in functions for future value, F, V, function, uh, future value. And when you, whenever you type the formula, it will give you the option. It says rate, so you know the rate is 10%. NPR is a number of periods. In this case, it's five years. You're not making this 100,000 every year, but you're only doing it once in the beginning, so there is no payment here. Put a comma again. And the present value, that is the value today, is 100,000. And forget the type. So I just give the formula to calculate the future value of your 100,000 today after five years. When I type in the formula, you see you get a negative value. So if I go back and say your payment is negative 100,000, so you get a positive value. Now what I'm interested in is what happens to this $161,000 if I change the interest rate to 5%, 8%, 10, 12, and 15%. And if I keep it for three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ten years. So what I'm doing here is what we call what if or sensitivity analysis. I want to compute the future value this for this various interest rates and number of years at the same time. So in order to do this sensitivity analysis or what if, you have to construct a table where you put your one of the variables in different columns and your number of years other variable in the column here, in the rows here. So to do this first, there's a blank space here between these two variables. You equal that to the future value, saying that I'm interested in this future value. In order to calculate the future value, you keep changing the variables phi. Instead of 10, you put 5 and put the number of years of 3 and calculate here. So to do this, I'm going to copy this entire space. So it includes all the interest rates and all the rows. And I want to fill up this particular space here. To do this, click on data and what if. So here is data table. This is a table, data table. When you click on this, it will ask you what is the row input cell, which means what is that you want to replace in the in your cell so this is a cell that is c3 you want to replace that c3 with 5 8 10 12 and 15 that's the row input cell click on this c3 so basically what it does it it replaces c3 with 5 8 10 12 and 15 percent the column input cell is your this this is in the column 3 4 5 6 7 8 number of years and you know which is c4 and if you click there it goes. You create, you get this. All the values for various combination of interest rate and number of years. Of course, I have formatted this particular cell so everything comes out clean. So if you want to, uh, uh, you want to for format this particular output here, you highlight this. This is a currency in all in dollar amount, currency. And if you don't want, if you, for example, here you don't want the decimal place, click here, it removes decimal place. If you click here on this particular cell, it adds the decimal places. So you can play around the way you want it. So this is the way you do sensitivity analysis between two variables. What if I change these two variables, what happens to the value? So now, to see whether you're doing it correct or not, there has to be a check. This is 10% is what I put here, 5 is here, so this 161,000 should match with this particular cell. That's the way you know you've done it correctly. 
So this is the way to do sensitivity analysis.